Here we're asked to graph this linear equation by plotting five points. Well, to do that, it really is easier if we first solve for y. Okay, so I'll just go ahead and subtract negative two-thirds x on both sides. That leaves me with negative one-half y equals negative two-thirds x plus two. Okay, and then the reciprocal of negative one-half is negative two. So I'm going to multiply both sides by negative two. Negative two times negative one-half is one y. Okay, negative two times the negative two-thirds is four-thirds x, and then negative two times the positive two is minus four. Okay, so this is what I'm going to use to make my chart of values. Notice here I have a denominator of three. So I'm going to choose multiples of three for my x values. Here y depends on what x is, so you get to choose any x values you want. Let's choose maybe negative six, negative three, zero, three, and six. See what happens. Okay, when I plug in negative six, uh, three goes into six, that's why I chose it uh, two times. Be a little careful here, four times negative two is negative eight minus the four. Well, that's going to be negative twelve. Okay, so there's our first ordered pair. Let's continue. Plug in negative three. See what we get here, threes cancel, so that leaves me negative four minus that four is negative eight. Um, here are four thirds, remember you could choose any x values you want. Uh, multiples of three here just make my life a little easier. Well that's gonna be negative four. That's actually my y-intercept right there. You always want to try to catch your x and y-intercepts when you choose your values, if you can. It's not always going to happen. Here are those threes cancel, so four minus four is zero. So that turns out to be my x-intercept. Okay, and then finally, plugging in the six, what do we get here? Uh, three goes into six twice, so we get eight minus four. Well, that equals four. Okay, so we filled in this chart of values. Now we have five points we can plot. Okay, so let's make a Cartesian coordinate system here. Um, this will be, say, my x-axis. And this here will be my y-axis. Okay, so let's say we take our x-axis a scale of three. And then on our y-axis, it looks like we can choose a scale of four. Okay, so I think we're ready to go ahead and plot the points. Negative six comma Negative 12 is right about there. Negative 3 comma negative 8. 0 comma negative 4, that's my y-intercept. 3 comma 0, my x-intercept, and then 6 comma 4. You always want to make sure your scale's good, um, and use a straight edge if you can when you connect the dots. Okay, so here's my line. Sorry, it's a little crooked. Like I said, you should use a straight edge. Um, this is the line y equals four thirds x minus four.